understand that you are coming into people's rooms. Respect that shit. Don't disrespect anybody here. If you gonna elevate anything, let's elevate the love of this motherfucker. I couldn't begin to imagine who I would be had that space not intervened in my life at the point at which it did. Yin Yang, I think, created the perfect springboard for people to want to be them, their best. That pretty much was it in, in a nutshell. Like, that fucking little hole in the wall part of my language, but like, that hole in the wall, that's, that was love. Really, when you think about it, the world knows about it. You know, this has been a springboard for many artists and musicians. The legacy of the Yin Yang Music Cafe and just 64 Third Street it really has nothing to do with, it really, in my opinion, it really has nothing to do with the actual structure itself. Mm. It, it's the, the lifeblood of that place isn't about the walls or the floor or the ceiling. It's about the incubator. If you are somebody that you think you're open and you think you're one, you know, you have these aspirations, you gotta end up at our door. Uh, people like Donnie and India Irie. Joy, Star Kitty's Revenge. Little brother who now you might associate with Foreign Exchange. Lil John Roberts. Jason Old, it's got this funk jazz. Erica Badu, first time I ever saw her perform was at, at Yin Yang. I had Janelle Monae really early. I saw her over on campus and started getting her in here. L Rock, Billy Odom was birthed there. Jaspex had them in here. I had Fertile Ground from D.C. Dina Lewis. Most Def, you name it. Everybody's coming through. I'm sitting here, Andre's sitting right next to me at the same table, like it's, it was, you know, it was crazy. It was Boom Crusher. So Karis One, Omar, Amp Fiddler. George Benson happens to roll through. I'm collecting records. And he rolls through, he's like, yeah, I heard that you guys do jazz. I'm playing at the Fox. Is this the spot? I'm like, dude, it is the spot. So he jumps in, wails out his guitar, and beats it down. Please let them get on. Finally, I was like, all right, all right. All right. Thank, thank you very much. So he get, wrote down the name, and I was like, you know, last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, tonight we have some, some guests from out of town. You know, they literally just flew in, I'm told. So, you know, put your hands together for Floetry. Yin Yang Cafe was an epicenter. You know, it was an institution. I am a better human because of that place. Not singer or so and so and so, better human. When we learned that it was gonna be closing. Immediately, it was just like kind of feeling a, a, a rupturing. You had to kind of come to grips with the fact that this space was not gonna be here anymore. That period between grand closing at Yin Yang and grand opening at Apache, that was a dark day, bro. That was some dark days. Everybody was looking like, okay, looking to see who was gonna pick up the torch. I was riding through this area with Jamal Ahmad. We were cutting through this alley, came around the corner and was like, that's not boarded up, that looks open. Uh, Asa and Karen, you know, picked it up and, um, you know, kept all the, you know, historical context and nuances and uh, stepped on another pillar called Apache Cafe. And that's really needed because there's so many underground artists that need that, that spotlight, that need that opportunity to express themselves. Where does that really exist here in Atlanta? This is a premier spot, Apache Cafe. When we got to Apache, um, you know, it took us a while, but um, it took us a while for a couple of different reasons. Like, this spot was brand new. But then it was a new thing, because it wasn't an old crowd, it wasn't an old heads coming in here. This is a whole new thing. We, we reinventing the recipe. So it was 20, 30 people in the room for a few months. It had to grow. Man, I remember me standing in line around the corner, on, um, on the corner of 64th and 3rd, because that's how long the line was here. But the main part of it was the Apache Cafe.
because that's where I can get money at and sustain myself as a poet. So it was like this best kept secret that was noisy as hell because it grew to something magnificent. Apache is a cool little spot. Everybody can be themselves, and I mean everybody. You can come however you feel like being dressed. If you want to get clean, you can get clean. If you want to be comfortable, you can be comfortable. Even though Apache is not yin yang, for a, a new generation of creatives, Apache is their a, Apache is their Apache. You know what I'm saying? Like yin yang was our yin yang. It's my space where my people can come. Your people can come too, but you can't throw me out of here. You can't take me out of here because this is my vibration in here. We were the fan to the flame of souls across this planet. I mean, for me, it's kind of like, I would say it was, it's home. We, I, I think we would be lost. I really think we would. It would be a lost situation. But I, I honestly believe that the spirit of it won't go anywhere. We just have to find another place where it won't be destroyed and bring that spirit back. But